most young serfs are often confused whether it is chest fat or gynecomasia. The scientific term for chest fat is pseudogynecomasia. They turn to Google or the gym trainers to know whether it is chest fat or gyno. Well, they often get depressed and are looking for answers. Today, I am going to tell you what exactly is chest fat and how different from gynecomasia, what exactly is the treatment for both the conditions. Hi, I am Dr. Anmochuk, cosmetic and plastic surgeon, a specialist in gynecomasia surgery with all the latest techniques and I am here to clear all your doubts. Number 1. What is the difference between pseudogynecomasia or chest fat and true gynecomasia? In the normal chest, the muscle is very well defined, the chest muscle which is known as pectoralis. Over that, the nipple is small, but in the case of gynecomasia, there is an abnormal development of the breast gland and it develops in the form of female breast. True gynecomasia, there is all round fat deposition, plus along with that, nipples are puffy. So, nipples in gynecomasia cases are sensitive to touch and they often pain. In general, whole chest looks like a female breast, while in pseudogynecomasia or chest fat, the nipple is not that much sensitive and tender to touch. Also, there is generalized fat deposition and not just only in the nipple area but also surrounding it. Number 2. Science behind gyno. As a teenager transforms into young man, body goes into various hormonal changes. These hormones are the chemicals that help in regulating growth, musculature and other body functions. There are essentially two hormones involved in a male chest or male development. First one is testosterone which is male hormone. The other one is the estrogen or the female hormone. Ideally, the ratio between the testosterone and estrogen in male is much higher. But sometimes during the teenage years, that ratio can be hampered because Whenever there is a surge of testosterone during the growing years, in the teenage years, years, the body tries to counterbalance it with increasing the amount of estrogen. That is why due to some hormonal imbalance in some teen males, they can develop a female-like breast. Normally, this resolves around 18 to 20 years, but if it doesn't resolve after 20 years, it can be either true gynecomasia or chest fat that is pseudogynecomasia. A simple test that can be done at home is by taking the chest in one hand, holding the chest fat around the nipples in one palm and in the other palm holding it the tummy fat. If you can feel that the chest fat especially around the nipple is harder in consistency than the tummy fat then most probably you are suffering from gynecomasia. Number 3. What are the causes of gynecomasia? Number 1 is steroid abuse. Especially among young bodybuilders, they keep on taking steroids and in terms of bulking up the muscles but in terms that boosts up the glandular part also and therefore the gynecomasia develops. Second reason can be alcohol abuse. Alcohol especially the binge drinking taking more than 200-300 ml per week can result in gynecomasia. Number 3 medications especially the chemotherapy they cause hormonal imbalance and that is why gynecomasia can be seen in such patients. Number 4 is men aging around 40 to 60 years. Aging process the testosterone levels decreases after 40 years and therefore estrogen level can increase and result in the development of gynecomasia. What is the treatment for gynecomasia and chest fat or pseudogynecomasia? Well, it can be easily differentiated whether it is a chest fat only or a gynecomasia by a board certified plastic surgeon. It is important that you choose a surgeon who is well versed in body contouring procedures because it is not just about taking out the fat or the gland. It's all about giving the body a perfect shape which is in align with other features. Also the scar should be well hidden. For gynecomasia patients, I generally grade them into four grades and according to different grades, I operate them. Full surgery is done through latest techniques of liposuction and along with that, it is ensured that complete removal of gland through keyhole incision is done without any telltale sign of surgery as scars are well hidden. In pseudogynecomasia or chest fat patients, you can try dieting and exercise but in my experience, the stubborn fat doesn't 
go away and in turn patient end up getting depressed an easy way to get rid of those pseudo gynecomas or chest fat is getting liposuction done through a keyhole incision and then you can wear confidently the your favorite tight clothes and go out for gymming or biking without any fear of any embarrassment hope that was helpful if you have any further query any questions regarding to gynecomasia or chest fat you can always mail me at plasticsurgeonandmore@gmail.com or whatsapp or call me at plus nine one nine five double eight seven five four one double eight i'll be more than happy to help you do share and subscribe this video if you like it thank you so much